right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just hope that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, he protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize and that you stay on that narrow path. You help out a whole bunch of people along your journey as well. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. Let's thank the Lord for another day. Let's thank the Lord for waking us up, giving us another chance to keep seeking his face. Let's thank the Lord for getting us through the middle of the day and getting us through the night and protecting us coming in and going out. And let's just thank the Lord for his grace, mercy, and favor, his only begotten son, his word. Let's thank the, let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, closing our back, a roof over our head. And just thank him for his tender loving, his tender mercies, his kindness, everything and above. Amen. We serve an amazing, mighty God, a gracious, merciful God. Amen. So always give him praise. Your situation may not be the best right now, but trust in him and hold on, all right? Yes, yes, more praising, less complaining, all right? Yes, yes, y'all. Welcome, everybody. I appreciate all of you for listening. It means a lot to me. I love you all, praying for you all. Let us keep uplifting one another in Christ. Let us keep encouraging each other in the Lord, okay? Let us keep staying strong in unity. Even though we're scattered all four corners of the earth, we can, st- we can still serve the same creator and praise him, amen? So yes, yes, y'all. Welcome everybody, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all kindreds, all faces, all races, all four corners, all four corners of the earth. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Lord in harmony, peace, love, comfort, gladness, heart, joyful heart. Praise and praise and praise him. Always rejoice, always rejoice, amen? Most definitely, y'all. Let us love the Lord our God for our mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. Let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives till his son comes back. His, his son is coming back in an hour. Nobody knows but the Father. He is coming back for a people who are spotless and blameless. He is coming back like a thief in the night. All right, so keep your lamps and your oil. Stay ready, people. Stay watchful. Pray and keep on doing it. Amen. Keep on doing Father's business, Father's will, y'all. Let us know the Lord better. Let us keep seeking his face and keep doing his will and keep the kingdom of heaven first forever. All things shall be added to us. And let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, statutes, and commandments. Just obey his whole entire word. Amen. Let us be perfected through Christ and let us keep being Christ-like, Christ-minded, so forth and so forth. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. So good way to start off this week, y'all. Uh, you know, just hope that y'all stay strong. Hope that y'all have a blessed week this week. I pray that you get a miracle, sign of wonder, dream of vision, uh, a dramatic shift uh, in your situation. The Lord guides you day by day from now on forever. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. So today's message is just going to be a real quick, short reading of Psalm 151. Okay. This is one of the lost books of the Bible, Psalm 151. Okay. So uh, we'll just go through that, and then we'll close out with a prayer. We'll close out with a priestly blessing, and we'll close out by giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise only begotten Son, die for our sins. Amen. So when you usually have like your King James Version Bible or whatever translation you have, uh, usually Psalms is all the way from Psalm 1 all the way through Psalm 150, but there's lost books of the Bible and the Apocrypha. Uh, this one includes a 151 Psalm. Okay, so we'll just go through this, all right? So here we go. This psalm is ascribed to David as his own composition, though it is outside the number, after he had fought in single combat with Goliath. I was small among my brothers and the youngest in my father's house. I tended my father's sheep. My hands made a harp. My fingers fashioned a lyre, a lyre, a lyre. And who will tell my Lord? The Lord himself, it is he who hears. It was he who sent his messenger and took me from my father's sheep and anointed me with his anointing oil. My brothers were handsome and tall, but the Lord was not pleased with them. Mm. I went out to meet the foreigner and he cursed me by his idols, but I drew his own sword. I beheaded him and removed grace, disgrace from the people of Israel. Yes, yes, y'all. There, there you go. All right. That is Psalm 151. Amen. You know, very short, effective, but powerful, though. Just always brings you back into the battle of him and Goliath, amen, and how uh, Samuel anointed King David, amen. Remember, the Lord does not look at the appearance of a man as a man does. He looks at the heart. The Lord rejected David's brothers, but David was the chosen one of promise, amen. He was to be the king of Judah, all right, king of Israel, okay. So Samuel the prophet, Samuel the priest anointed King David, 
and David became king. He killed Goliath off to represent Israel all the way. Amen. So we all are battling a Goliath type battle right now, but we will conquer in the name of the most high. Amen. In the name of Jesus, most definitely. Yes, yes, y'all. So we all got some David in us. All right. So overcome that battle, overcome that giant. Amen. Whatever is in the way, get it out the way in Jesus name. Amen. The battle is the Lord's, y'all, and y'all got all the weapons and tools God gave you to conquer, okay? We got his word. We got his angels assigned to us. He gave us his power, his spirit, his love, all those things and much more so we can win our battles in Jesus' name, amen? Most definitely, y'all, okay? So that's Psalm 151, all right? Most definitely. So what I love to do as I close out is give y'all the priestly blessing and just give all the praise on glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise only begot son and die for our sins, all right? So here we go. Yes, yes, hallelujah, y'all. He is the hope for humanity, most definitely, y'all. He got us in these last days. He got us. He is the Adam, the second Adam, the last Adam, the advocate, the almighty, true living God, the Alpha and Omega, amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed only potent, the blessed only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope and glory, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am that I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shalom, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King Eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna, the highest king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the life of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is my portion. The Lord is my salvation. The Lord is my deliverer. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my rock. The Lord is my good fortress. The Lord is my high tower. The Lord is my refuge. Hallelujah. Most definitely. He is a sustainer. He is a sufficient one. Yes, yes, y'all. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Yahai, Yashai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakafa, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yeshua, Ahaya, Yeshaya. Yes, yes, y'all, the consuming fire, the God of heaven and earth, the father of lights, the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician, can heal all things. He is the carpenter, can fix all things. Amen. But those who believe in God with him, all things are possible. Amen. We touch and agree. The Lord made everything in six days and rested on the seventh day. I believe he could fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. In the twinkling of an eye, in a split second, he could turn around just like that with his outstretched arm and his mighty hand, that finger of God, all all over your life. Amen. Yes, yes. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. All of that. He is amazing. Most definitely, y'all. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice, the Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection alive, the resurrection, the resurrector, the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness. The just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. Praise him. 
Yes, yes, he is the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word of Yeshua HaMashiach, the word of Yahweh Shai, the word of Yahusha Yahusha Yeshua, the word of Ahia Shia, the word of the consuming fire. Yes, yes, y'all. His word is fine silver, just as David said in the book of Psalms, and the word is a double-edged sword, just as the book of Hebrews says. Amen. We touch and agree, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. His word is awesome. It's amazing. True living God, true, true living waters. Amen. We touch and agree, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. Praise the Lord. Worship him. Call on his name. Thank him. Lift his name on high. All of that. Look to the hills and your help shall come from the Lord. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. The Lord is definitely amazing. Boast of the Lord. Boast of the Lord. Tell everybody how great he is. All right. His son is very amazing for dying for our sins. Amen. Only his blood could clean up our mess. Only his blood could do it. For sure. Amen. His son is very wonderful. He is the seed of Abraham promise, the seed of Adam humanity, the seed of David kingship, the seed of God deity, the seed of Jacob nationality, the seed of Judah tribe, the seed of Shem race, the seed of woman prophecy. We touch and agree. Amen. The authority of power in the name of Jesus Christ. You are healed, renewed, restored, redeemed, forgiven, embraced, loved. New mind, new heart, new soul, new hands to prosper, new footsteps, new path, new journey, new eyes, new visions, new dreams, new prophecies, new new signs, new miracles, new wonders, new prayers answered, a new song to sing, new gladness, new joy, renewed strength. Yes, new journeys, new steps, new path, new county, new city, new state, new country, new blessings, new abundance, new prosperity, new opportunities, new open doors, everything new. Behold, the Lord is doing a new thing. Amen. New Good news from now on. Accepted, approved. All of that. We touch and agree. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. So there you have it. All right. That's just a quick, short reading today. Uh, keep it light and short and effective. You know, Psalm 151. All right. And Apocrypha, the lost books of the Bible. So the lost books of the Bible is always amazing to get into. And I encourage anybody out there who's getting through Genesis, the Revelation, to also um, dig into the lost books of the Bible. There's some gems there as well. Amen. God's word is amazing. Whether it's the Old Testament, New Testament, Apocrypha. The lost books of the Bible is amazing. His word is a true word. Amen. So there you have it. All right. I just pray to God that whoever listens to his message, I pray that you repent and get baptized, start your life off for the most high. And I pray the Lord just change the situation instantly. You know, we've all been waiting super long of being patient and waiting on the Lord. And his time is due time and perfect time. But I feel like the needs that, of course, I have the needs that you have and you know others have are definitely urgent. Amen. We 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 have urgent needs that we have. Amen. So got to be patient, but, you know, his timing is perfect, okay? So what I love to do as I close out is give you all this priestly blessing on the way out, amen? The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Shalom. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I love you all so much. Praying for you all. Stay strong. Keep your head up. Peace.